All right, so pre-ordering a game, di a digital game, or physical game is a scam. Let's talk about that on the gaming update, shall we? I was wrong. I can't see shit. I really thought it'd work. We were fucking duped. Uh, well, um, at least it's peaceful. Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. There's nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. No depths I won't explore. No secret I won't unlock. Hey everyone, Dragon Souls here, and welcome to my new gaming update, February 2nd of 2022. First um, of all, we, there's some big plans coming uh, to the channel, okay? And I won't be showing hardly any videos or anything. Well, there, might, there is going to be some videos later and coming later, you know, uh, during this video. But um, for right now, not just yet, okay? Um... So, um, <laughs> um, here is the uh, big change that I was talking about, okay, that is going to happen on my channel starting this month, okay, and nobody asked for it, nobody told me, uh, asked me or told me to do it or anything like that, um, I didn't, I done this on my own, I'm doing this on my own. And because I want to challenge myself, because I, I tried to do this before, and it backfired. But since these are new releases, I want to do this, okay? So, uh, nothing's going to change on that, okay? Now, here's what I... Now, I'm going to explain to you about um, what happened in the past and why I didn't do it. Okay, but the way I'm doing it now is going to be way different from what I did in the past. Okay, so without beating around the bush, okay, starting this Friday, I'm going to be playing Dying Light 2. Okay, now I'm hearing a lot of things saying that the uh, game is longer than Skyrim is. And, uh, and all, and all that, okay? I don't care how long the game really is. You know, I really don't. I'm going to sit here, take my time, I'm, I'm playing this game, um, I'm going to sit here and, um, do, look and look around, explore, pick up whatever I can, you know, um, loot everything I can in the game. Um, I'm going to sit here um do side mission all the side missions i can and what side missions i can't do because i have to progress into the game i will then go ahead and do the main missions okay then then we'll go in between main missions and side missions like all the other games i have played in, in the past okay so here's the thing if we haven't beaten Dying Light 2 because I'm, I'm doing two and a half hours, uh, three streams each day. Okay, that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so if we don't beat 
uh, Dying Light 2 before Horizon 2 Forbidden West comes out, then what we're going to do is one day, for one whole day, we're going to be doing, like, uh, say, for example, um, we're playing Dying Light 2 the day before Horizon 2 Forbidden West comes out, okay? And then, okay, the next day comes, and Horizon Zero, uh, Horizon 2 Zero, uh, Zero Forbidden West, uh, Zero Dawn, Forbidden West is, is out. Are we going to still play Dying Light 2? No. We're going to put that on hold for, uh, for, for one whole day. And we're going to do the premiere stream for Horizon 2 Forbidden West. Okay? For one whole day. Then the next day we'll go back to Dying Light 2. And then, the, and then for one whole day. Then the next day we'll go back to and we'll, we'll keep going back and forth and back and forth until one until we get your until we get one of these games beat, okay? Then once we get one of these games beat, whichever one, and we get like say for example if we get Dying Light Two beat before Horizon, then. Howdy, one Dragon Souls here, and welcome to the final time. That's right, the final time that I will be pre-ordering and uh, pre-ordering and paying off uh, a game for the PS4. Um, I've already talked to my sponsorship about it, and uh, they agreed that uh, this uh, they sent me <coughs> they sent me this uh, sixty dollar PSN code. Uh, to me a couple days ago uh, and and uh, I think it was last week it was and they uh, put a message in there let me know to let y'all know that uh, this will be the last time that they will be sending me PSN codes and, to, and, and for me to buy any used or new PS uh, P, uh, or especially new releases for uh, uh, for games for the PS4, okay. Um, <clears throat> now I will say I want to actually throw this out there and say this before I do anything. Um, someone at my job um, came to me and told me that some someone said uh, that, that told him. Well, well, let me just say this. He just sat there and told me. He said, "Whatever you do, Dragon." Don't pre-order any games at, at GameStop or on PlayStation Store. He said, "I said why?" He said, "It's a, you're going if, if you do, you're going to scam yourself." And I said, "Where the fuck did you get this from?" And then all of a sudden, I, and all of a sudden, my boss heard uh, heard uh, heard me say it, and he said, "Dragon, I heard you from all the way over there. What the heck is going on over here? And, wh and why did you say what, what you said?" And I said, uh, "Well, won't you ask him that?" He said, "What you what you say to for him to say that?" And he said, "Well, um, he I just told him that that, that he needs to tell his sponsorship." To uh, not uh, not to pre-order and not to go at Walmart and uh, go to Walmart or GameStop or um, or PlayStation Store and pre-order any uh, any games because he's scamming himself. And the boss said, "I said, I said, man, I said, but, uh, boss, can I uh, can I actually throw uh, can I actually say this to this guy?" He said, by all means, Dragon, go ahead. You're not, I'm not going to fire you for it. He said, go ahead and, and fill, uh, fill, uh, speak, uh, speak out loud. He said, I want everybody to hear this. I said, where the hell did you get that from? He said, oh, I heard it from a guy. Uh, uh, he, he's a, a YouTuber, uh, a live streamer, and... Uh, he told me who the name was, and he said, "I don't want to tell you who the name was, but he said, I know you're a live. He said, I know you're a, game, uh, a, a YouTuber, and I know you're a live streamer, Dragon." And um, 
He said, "I'm not. I'll, I'll tell you who the, who the guy is, but I don't want you to tell uh, say it out loud on your videos." And I said, "Don't worry, he said, because this guy don't deserve any attention." I said, "Okay, no problem. What's up?" He said, "But he, this guy, that's a YouTuber, live by live likes to live uh, live stream games. You know, uh, he scams people for money. Uh, he's an entertain. He 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 likes to play dress up like Ronald McDonald does for uh for for uh, to scam uh, scam people and even kids, you know. And I said, whoa, ho, whoa, 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 hold it right there. You don't go any further. I know who the son of a bitch you're talking about. And he said, yeah, it's, it's him. I said. Everybody laughed. They said, if you believe in that son of a bitch, go for it. If you want to believe that asshole, go for it. That guy is a loser. <laughs> he said, you're not skimming yourself. He said, here, allow me to explain you what it is. And he told me, he said, he said, and he told me what, what, and I, I said, I told him, I, said, I know what it is. Let me explain to this moron. Let me explain to this guy what pre-ordering is all about and what's it for and what it is, is you get out of pre-ordering uh, your, your video games. Okay. And he said, now, Dragon, when you do this, when you do your, make your video, make sure you put them, uh, put it in there as well. Uh, showing everybody what they get when they pre-order it. And I said, not a problem. I, I do that all the time anyway. You all, you, every, from time to time when somebody asks me about it. So without further ado, I do it. <clears throat> so I am pre-ordering for the final time for the PS4 Elden Ring. Um, I won't play the, t the intro thing just yet because... Uh, because of copyright, but uh, copyright, you know, but I do have a trailer for it here in a second after I get him saying this. Uh, we're going to scroll down here. <clears throat> One player, two to four player uh, network players, which is damn great. Okay. It says right here, pre-order now and get the following content as a bonus. Adventure guide, Contains useful information for the players of adventures in the in the land lands between. Bonus, uh, whatever the hell that is, you, you can read that. This is a something that can be used in the in game. The player can also can sing, uh, ob, ob, obtain. Uh, excuse me, this letter. Later in the game, to play this game on PS5, uh, oh, don't you worry, I know about that stuff here, you know. But you get what I'm saying. He said, "This, this is what you get for pre-ordering a game." And he said, "When you pre-order the game, it doesn't matter if you get it from GameStop, Walmart, or PlayStation Store. You get extra things." For pre-ordering the game, if you go wait until the game actually comes out and then buy the game there, you don't get shit out of it. You don't get no special bonus for for getting it or nothing. You're throwing your money away because you're because you because you listen to dumbasses who actually tell you don't pre-order the game because you're scamming yourself. You can tell the person that tells you that. To go fuck himself. So, without further ado, let's play this video right here. Before. It happened an age ago. But when I recall, I see it true. On a night of wintry fog.
the rune of death was stolen. And the demigods began to fall. Starting with Godwin the Golden. Queen Marika was driven to the brink. The shattering ensued a war that wrought only darkness. The Elden Ring was broken. But by whom? And why? What could the demigods ever hope to win by war? The conqueror of the stars, General Rodar. Blade of Mikkel and Melania the Seventh. These two were the mightiest to remain, and locked horns in combat. But there would be no victor. And so, we inhabit a fractured world, awaiting the arrival of the Elder Lord. Unless, of course, thou shouldst take the crown. Okay, <laughs> so with that said, like I, as I said before, and I'm going to repeat myself, okay, I am officially pre-ordering this game right now. Okay, expected playable date, February 24th, 2022, hell yeah. Check out, damn right. Yep. Okay, as you see, just pre-ordered the full game of Elden Ring. Expect auto download date. February 22nd of 2020 on 2022. Hell yeah. Now I'm going to click on here because we're not going to do that. We're going to manually do it ourselves. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, as you just seen, I just pre-ordered and paid off Elden Ring. Um, so to let y'all know um what i'm going to be doing now the schedules uh, as i said uh, said uh i'm going to be doing uh this month okay so i'm not going to repeat myself on that but uh yeah as i said pre-ordering these games uh doesn't matter if it's gamestop walmart target any store at all or 
PlayStation Store or Xbox consoles, you know, any digital games you and you get either on Xbox or PlayStation, it doesn't matter. You're not scamming yourself because you're actually getting something out of it. So do not listen to idiots who goes up and tells you do not pre-order games because you're gonna scam. You're you're just scamming yourself. They're full of shit and they're fucking liars. And uh, they they want if they want to sit here and and believe in that shit. That's fine. That's them. Okay, not you. Thanks for watching, everyone. And remember, this is the last game I'm gonna be pre-ordering for this month of Mar of February. Start next month. There will not be any more pre-ordering new games or buying any games at all for the PS4. The next game I'll be, be buying, it will be for the PS5. Okay. So, now that y'all seen that, okay, now that y'all seen that, um, so, if we, uh, if we, um, if we are still, can, if we're, if whichever one, Dying Light 2 or Horizon 2 for Ben West, um, if we, uh, whichever one we're, uh, whichever one we're playing, um, playing, and, and hopefully, um, we'll get one of these games beat before Elden Ring comes out, okay? If, uh, if not, we, uh, we're gonna have to tackle we're gonna we're gonna see here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna actually do this. I don't know how long Horizon Two Forbidden West is. Okay, I really don't know, and I don't know how long is Dying Light Two is. Okay, so here's the thing: is if we're still playing Dying Light Two, and we're still playing Horizon Two Forbidden West, and Elden Ring comes out. We're gonna stop playing both of those games, and on the uh, on the day that uh, on the, on the day that Elden Ring comes out, as you've seen, that, that as you've seen that I've been pre-ordered and paid off, <clears throat> we will be jumping right into and doing day one when the, when the, when Elden Ring comes out the, on the on that day on the twenty fifth. I will be doing. One whole day of Elden Ring, okay, and then the next day I will on the next day I will decide on if it's going to be Dying Light Two or if it's going to be a, a Horizon Two for Ben West. Now um, there's a thing about uh, on the twenty fourth. Uh, the twin. Now you're probably thinking, that, well, what about the twenty fourth? Well, the twenty fourth. Um, there's going to be, um, a change of schedule, okay? I don't know what time I'm going to be live streaming that day because I got things, I have to do, personal things I have to do, it popped up, and I have to take care of it. So, on the 24th, on this month, I have to go and take care of some business, so by the time I get home, if I fill up to it, uh, there will be a live stream that day. If not, and I'm all tired and wore out, you know, there won't be no live stream that day, okay? So I'm just trying to make that perfectly clear on that. Um, but after we get, but once we get done doing, uh, beating Dying Light 2, Horizon 2 for Ben West, and we get done beating and doing a full gameplay of Elden Ring, then we will be doing a full gameplay, that's right everyone, we will be doing a full gameplay of Mortal Shell, okay? We will be doing a full gameplay of Mortal Shell once all this is all said and done, okay? Now here, and now here's the thing is, um, Uncharted. 
Uncharted. We already did Uncharted 1 from start to finish. Okay? So once all this is all said and done, and we got all the game, new games like Dying Light 2, Horizon 2, and Elden Ring, once we got all them games done and beat, you know, and finished up, then um, there is going to be one hell of a um, of a review, okay? Because what I'm gonna do when I when I, once I get done beating Dying Light 2, um, I'm gonna take a little I'm gonna take some a little time off for a little for for a few hours. And I'm going to sit here and do my uh, do my review for Dying Light 2. Then when I beat El when I beat uh, Horizon 2 for Ben West, I'm going to do my review then, which I'm going to be adding all this in the one video. Then when I get done beating Elden Ring, I will be doing a review for that. Which means the review is going to be one hell of a review. Like I said, it's probably going to be two hours long because. I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be putting all these reviews into one video, okay? Which means the intro is gonna is gonna be kind of like a showing 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 show show different and different gameplay and different and different different ones. You'll, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it, you know. But like I said, I want to actually throw this out here and say this right now. I usually when I when I get done doing uh, beating a game. And then I sit here and do my, my review for it. There won't be no reviews. For no games. Until I beat Dying Light 2, Horizon 2, Forbidden West, and Elden Ring. There will not be no reviews for no games. And the, for the new games until I get done beat, uh, beating these games. And then... Each game, I will be sit here doing a review for each one of them, and then it won't be on live on my channel or anything because it will be putting all in one big ass video. Okay, so with that said, yeah. All right, so this is going to be my first review, my first ever review of. Uncharted 1. I don't remember doing a review for it yet, so I'm actually going to add this to it. Uh, add this to my gaming channel, gaming update. Uh, Uncharted is a short game. Okay, it is a short game. It is a short game. And, um,. Getting distracted here with my phone. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, um, this game, uh, Un Uncharted, is like um, <coughs> Indiana Jones. <coughs> it's like Indiana Jones. Um, really fucking good. Got good puzzles in the games. And, um, and it has some crazy ass crap that goes on in the game, you know. Um, I'd let's just say, um, the game is fantastic. If you're an Indian, uh, if you're a big fan of Indian Jones, you're gonna love this game. You're gonna love Uncharted 1, 2, 3, every single one of them. You're going to love them all. And I heard. Now in the past. A couple of years ago. They did announce Uncharted 5. Yes everyone. If you get to play. They showed a little scene. Showing that. Uh, they, uh, Nathan Drake's wife. Uh, got either killed. Or she was knocked out. And uh, Nathan Drake is somewhere. You know. And. I guess you get to play as his daughter, and uh, they go. And he, she goes on adventures trying to figure out where uh, where her dad's at, you know, and what happened, what's going on. And, and all they show was the little trailer, uh, just a little trailer, you know. Of and it said Uncharted Five. 
And then that's it, you know, and they haven't showed it since, okay? They haven't showed it in so many years. So I don't know if that's actually going to be coming out, if they're actually still making it or what. But they, but I know that they had, that they they got all the Uncharted games out, uh, remastered for the PS5. And they also put it out for the PS4 as well. Um, I'm going to give Uncharted. And I'm talking, and I'm not talking about just Uncharted 1. I'm talking about every single one of Uncharted. And if you don't like it, that's just too damn bad. Two thumbs up. Five stars. And a grand solid 10 out of 10, baby. I don't care if there's glitches in the game. I don't care if there's game bugs in the game. I don't care if, if it's... Yes, it is. Is it is that 1080p? It, it's kind of 1080p, but well, but with the P the PS5 version, the PS5 version is definitely improved, and it's 10 is 1080p, 60 frames per second. I don't know because I haven't played it on PS5 yet. You know, um, but I have seen people play it so uh, on there. So for PS4, it is definitely, it is definitely, um, it is definitely, it's, it's only 30 frames per second, but PS5, I don't know, so I can't really tell you 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second. You have to ask everybody, everybody anybody who, who has been playing it, uh, remastered for the PS5, okay? Um, but that's my review on that, okay? Thank you all so very much for watching. Okay. Um, my thoughts on Godfall. <laughs> my thoughts on Godfall is really damn good. The game is really fucking awesome. And uh, when there's when I when I have some downtime when I'm not um, playing any other games, you know, these new releases or uh, Uncharted, you know. And by the way, um, I did, as you've seen on that video a few minutes ago. Yeah, that uh, person uh, gave me a, a copyright claim. Uh, gave me a copyright claim on a video, and I had it. And so, if, and so, if Uncharted one, the, the final, the final ending, uh, had a little bit of music and my music in it, into it, and you're wondering why that's what happened, and you've probably seen that video of, of me explaining what happened. But the, yeah, the uh, jackass, he just keeps impersonating as people and uh, music companies, you know. So it is, it is what it is on that. Um, but Mortal Shell is a damn good game. It's like uh, Dark Souls. It's like, it definitely is like Dark Souls uh, game. Uh, you have to grind you, to level your character up and uh, do all kinds of side missions to level your character up, get uh, good, uh, upgrade your weapons. Uh, your armor and whatever else you got, you can you can upgrade them. You know, I'm not doing a review for it right now, but I'm giving my thoughts on it. You know, um, I am going to be going back to it pretty soon, uh, pretty soon later on this month, uh, later on this year. Um, and yes, I want to give a massive shout out, I, and I, and he his name will be in the title of all throughout the entire gameplay as, as well. But I want to give a massive shout out to Bay Arena, one of my longtime subscribers. He gave me uh, a $50 PSN code for Christmas last year. He didn't have to do that, but he did, and I really do thank him for it because that, because for, because of him, um, I went up and bought Godfall, the full game of Godfall for 45 bucks. So he will be uh, throughout the entire gameplay on his, on the title will be his. his Put his name on there as well. So a huge shout out to him for that. Um, but yeah, I will be going back to Godfall pretty soon, sometime this year. Um, 
you'll know if you uh, if you're a subscriber. If you're a subscriber and you turn on all notifications, uh, you should get notified when I go live on my channel. Sometimes YouTube won't do it, so uh, best way to know when I upload videos to my channel or go live on my channel is best to always check my channel out to make sure I am live or not. Okay, and also YouTube has this thing to where and to where you just when you subscribe when you first subscribe to my channel. Make sure you uh make sure you check my channel out to make sure you still are subscribed to my channel because I have noticed that some people have subscribed to my channel and then all of a sudden YouTube undoes it. You know, where where they're not subscribed to my channel. So make sure you're always checking to make sure you always are subscribed to my channel. Because that's how YouTube is uh, nowadays, okay? Uh okay. I cannot lie to you guys. I cannot lie to you guys. I cannot lie to you guys. Here's a fucking video clip for you, for every single one of y'all wondering. <laughs> That's right, everyone. I have beaten Mortal Shell. And yes, after I get done doing uh, Elden, all the releases, new releases, and especially Elden Ring, I will be going off and, re and doing a full gameplay of Mortal Shell. And trust me when I say, there are going to be a lot of grinding in this game. So if you don't want, and I'm going to put on a title saying when it when it comes to where 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 the grinding comes in, that's what I'm going to put on a title on the next. May not be the on that stream I start, but it may be the second stream, the other stream I start. So when it, so when you see a live stream and it says grinding, if you don't want to see no grinding, but you're live on if you're watching it live on stream. You feel free to come in my stream chat and talk to me. I'll, I'll interact with you and talk to you. Have a great time with you while I'm sitting here grinding and leveling up my character. Okay, um, okay. You're going to know when I start my gameplay up. You're gonna you're eventually gonna figure out what character, what shell is my favorite shell. Okay. You will not know until later on until I have all until I have all the shells I'm going to go right after all the shells but yeah I have beaten the game and holy shit was that a fucking twist of who the who the final boss really was holy hell I was done and I could not believe that was him that was him but um <laughs> but I'm going to do my review right now for Mortal Shell. The game is fucking great. It's it's uh, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, 
Bloodborne all in one game. No parry. You can parry. You can parry him. And to get and to get your you can parry the enemies. You can parry the bosses sometimes to get and to get your health back up. You know, um, there's no block. You can't block, and you don't have a shield to block anybody, to, uh, block the enemies, or block the uh, the uh, the bad guys or the bosses. The bad guys, the enemies, or the uh, the bosses. Uh, you. You turn and you you have to harden. You have to hit that harden button to hard and the go harden. You know when they can't hurt you. Anything, you know, but when they hit you, that's when uh, you go back to you can move around. You know, but they can after they, after they hit you, you can't take no damage, which is fucking awesome. You know, uh, the archers are a pain in the fucking ass. The archers in this game is fucking pain in the ass, and uh, certain places. They actually in the certain place uh, where they have look like all oil uh, all over the damn place, you know. Um, they have archers in there, you know. Um, you get and when you get and when you kill the bosses, it looks like you're ripping their throat, you're ripping their throats out, or or ripping their hearts out, or something like that. It's just pretty fucking gro and gruesome how you how they're doing, you know. And it's and it's like. Um, you put it on your buckle, uh, on your buckle, uh, on your belt, you know, and then it shines like a, and it turns red, you know, like like a, a night light, you know. And then when you're walking, and then when and it's like, it's like um, when you when you kill after you kill the boss, and then you get that, and then you rip it out and rip it out of him, you know, and you put it on your buckle and belt buckle, you know, and and, and it's all and it turns red, you know, like a night light, uh, you know. It kind of turns everything changes. It's like um, um, Ella and Orlando from Dark Souls One. It reminds me so much of that. You know, when you kill when you couldn't kill Gwendolyn, you know, and then uh, the the woman looks like she's laying on the couch, you know, and and you shear and she. <laughs> Uh, and, and and you realize everything and everything was an illusion and everything. That's what this game. That's what this game does. When each boss you kill, you know, and it's pretty damn cool. You know, I mean, the game is freaking awesome. I love it. I love the game. I really do. I cannot wait to do a full gameplay of this game. And um, and. There's certain things in the game that I have not done yet, like the bull, the, the big ass bullfrog that you've seen on my video. Uh, you can interact with it, you can talk to it, you know, you can feed and feed him. Uh, them thing, uh, uh, you get fit, you have to have fifty of them things. I'm not gonna say, I'm gonna say the R one, uh, R word, you know. The you feed the uh, writing R's, you know. You feed them that, you know, and then and then you see here you can take take your guitar and play the guitar, you know, and and, and if you're playing the guitar in front of her, you go oh. like this, you know. If you do it with him, you also do the same thing, you know, and you keep feeding him, you know, you get you get things for it, you know. Fucking awesome, downright awesome. I love it, you know. Um, they definitely need to patch this game after you see if you if, 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 what you seen on that video. For the final boss, yes, they need to patch the game up bad. The game definitely needs a patch, especially the way it looks on the, the final boss in the game. Holy shit! And I did do the. Um, do, the there is three. Okay, there's three different endings. There's one ending where you're sitting uh, next to the guy, drinking moonshine, you know, and eating with him, you know. It has a guitar, you know, like a soldier, you know, does a guitar, you know, and. Uh, all that stuff, and then it goes to the credits, and you're like, "Well, you beat it, you know." But then you find out you didn't beat it. That was just uh, that was just uh, the first and uh, the first uh, the first end ending of the game. And then you find out there's two game, there's two endings at the end uh, at the end of the boss where you know, and after the ball uh, after the boss, one of them that you just saw is one of the, is one of the good endings. The there's another ending that I did not show you. That's a bad ending, which I'm not going to show you that. Uh, you'll have to see that live on stream once I do and do a full gameplay of it. But um, but other than the other than the glitches, um, frustration that you can get on this game. 
the final boss of the game really sucks, though. It's really frustrating, and it's, it kind of drags it out, and it kind of sucks. Um, but other than that, I'm going to give the game two thumbs up. Uh, for for uh, Mortal Shell, two thumbs up, five stars, nine out of ten. That's that's my take on on that on that game, and I just can't. And I'm I'm doing the review now for Mortal Shell because that way I want to worry about doing it later on. Um, but yeah, I love I, I love that game. I really did, and um, yeah, uh, I have two more videos for you before I end this game channel and give me an update. Initiating Arsenal Boot Sequence. Data Link, Normal. Generator Pool, Normal. Energy Limiter Release. Electromagnetic Armor Operating at Normal Levels. Weapon Safety Mechanism Released. All Systems Normal. Commencing Launch. The Outer Aptitude Test will begin soon. This is a live fire exercise, but you have nothing to worry about. Hardly anyone fails this test. Two veteran mercenaries will serve as observers during the test. This is Reaper of the Western Seven. I'll be joining you as an observer. And I'm Queen of Panzer Crown. Charmed, I'm sure. Observers for the aptitude test are selected at random from a pool of qualified mercenaries. They're here to make sure the test is conducted fairly, and to intervene if your life is threatened. What Four said, if things get dicey, just ask us for help. That said, don't expect to pass if you nearly die out here. For Oval, and the world as a whole, outers like yourself are among our most valuable resources. However, if the cost of your arsenal repairs consistently exceeds the profit you generate, your value may be reassessed. We get it. Let's get this over with already. Like Four said, hardly anyone fails this test. If you're not sure what to do, prioritize your survival. Just trust your instincts and you'll pass with flying colors. We will now begin the aptitude test. <laughs> Please direct your attention to your radar. The aptitude test will begin once you cross the blue boundary. Move out and proceed to the designated coordinates as instructed. at the designated coordinates, the aptitude test will now begin. The next phase will begin shortly. Initiating mock battle sequence. Destroy all enemy AIs. The vital points gauge will deplete as you receive damage from enemies. 
This gauge represents your arsenal's durability. Should it fall to zero, the test will end. To lock on to an enemy, align the sights in the center of your monitor over the target. Once locked on, you may fire. Your arsenal's OS will correct for any minor lapses in firearm accuracy. Use your boost ability to avoid enemy fire, and to get within range to return fire. Designated enemy AI have been detected by your radar. Destroy them at once. some rest before you tackle your next assignment. You should get your test results right away. See you around on the battlefield. Aptitude test complete. You have passed. Congratulations. Your arsenal link key has been received. You are hereby recognized by Orbital and the Consortiums as a registered mercenary. From now on, you will help us work toward world peace by completing assigned missions. Thank you for your service.
Link accepted. Greetings. My name is Thor. I am the operator who serves as the liaison between orbital and outers like yourself. You have just recovered from transplant surgery to install your neural link terminal. At this time, your biometric data in the oval link will be updated and registered with Orbital. This is your arsenal on loan from Orbital. Before we register you as a mercenary, you must complete an aptitude test. Accept the mission from this terminal and await dispatch. Security breach. Critical containment failure. The relicta chamber is compromised. Security breach. Critical containment failure. The relicta chamber is compromised. Unidentified malicious vector. Emergency lockdown. Countermeasures. General systems failure. Core systems compromised. Shutdown in progress. Systems! Get me that fucking override! <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Patel. Are you ready to start? Security breach. This is not a drill. Security breach. This is not a drill. Initiating containment sequence. Dr. Patel, what's going on in Shackleton? Why the hell are you in the relicta chamber? Patel! Angie! Angie, come in! Damn it! Are you safe? Where the bloody hell are you? Oh no! Oh, you didn't! Get out of there! Angie, get the hell out! Patel here. I'm going in. Don't, Angie! Repeat, do not approach the relicta chamber! The containment field is collapsing! Acknowledged, Dr. Alami. 
I'm going for a manual shutdown. You are not! Systems! Override that! Lock down the sector! No! Do it now! Sorry, but this is not about you. It's not even about me. I'm doing it for Kira. Hold on, girl. Mom's gonna save you. Alright everyone, well that's gonna be it for this gaming update for uh, for February 2nd, 2022. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said before, um, um, I am gonna be playing Dying Light 2 and then when Horizon 2 Forbidden West comes out, I'm going to sit here and play. I'm gonna, I'll be switching between uh, one day I'll be playing Dying Light 2, next day I'll be playing uh, the horizon 2 and, and etc like, like that you know um but we'll we'll go from there what happens you know but uh yeah th uh, thank you all so very much for watching and i hope this was very important for for you and remember do not backseat drive and if you uh backseat game and gaming on my on my on my uh on my uh stream chat or you will be putting time out and also when it comes to co doing co-op, um, if anybody would like to do, uh, was, if anybody would like to do co-op with me in Dying Light 2, uh, if I'm not doing the main, main missions of this, then feel free to come in the stream chat and ask me, hey, would you like to do a uh, co-op with me? Would you like to do part of a uh, co-op with me? I'll be more than glad to. We'll definitely jump into that, and we'll definitely will do that. Okay. Now here is the big thing I want to actually throw in here before I end this video. Okay. The question everybody's going to be asking me is this: Dragon, when you get done after you beat uh, Dying Light Two, Horizon Two, Forbidden West, and Elden Ring. Um, are you gonna be are you gonna are, are you gonna be done with okay. it before I do end this video? Um, I had to bring something up. Nobody's in trouble whatsoever, but I had to bring this up and put this in my gaming up in my gaming update. Um, first of all, um. People have been coming to my stream chat. <coughs> Excuse me. People have been coming to my stream chat and asking me, "How do you how do you record gameplay?" Well, to find that out yourself. Get a P if you hadn't got it yet, get you a PS4. Put a game uh, put a game this game in there in your in your console. Or if you have a digital, turn the game on. Hit that share button. And you'll find out for yourself. Also, um, I had to bring this in this part up as well. So while I was at work, okay, uh, my boss decided that uh, he needed one to go to Walmart to uh, get some things. Okay, so I went ahead and decided to get some and get uh, three bottles of flavored water. Okay, and uh, I went to. Um, jury department to, to check out and this lady the this late this, this like uh, customer lady uh, was standing there you know waiting for the lady to do her job you know and then all of a sudden i sit there and said man for uh, for it to be for the uh, first of the month walmart is sure is busy and then she goes off and says and smarts off to me and says well of course well, well, of course, everybody, well, everybody's getting ready and prepared for a bad, for the bad storm that's coming. She, she, what do you expect? She, well, what do you expect? She said, well, what do you expect? They're, 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 what do you expect? They're, uh, they're, waiting, they're preparing for a bad storm coming, uh, coming. And then when she smarted off like she did to me, uh, uh, did to me earlier today, 
I sit there and actually open my mouth and my boss heard me and say it too. I sit there and said, they have been talking about that bad storm for, uh, for a couple of weeks now. Where the hell is it? We sure haven't, we sure haven't seen it yet. And as soon as I said that, she left. She had a look on her face like, I can't believe he just said that. And I can't believe he talked to me like that way, you know. And that, and that worker uh, came back and she heard it where I said, you know. And because she heard what she said and she's like, well, you got what you asked for, lady. You shouldn't have smart off like that. Are you going to be done with it? Um, are you going to be doing a, a playing it again for the PS5? The answer is, when I get the PS5, you can fucking bet your ass I'm going to be doing a second run immediately of all of, of Dying Light 2, Horizon 2, Forbidden West, and Elden Ring. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day. Post your comments on this video. Let me know what you all think about these changes. If you enjoyed this video and it was informative, you got everything you wanted, you got all the information you wanted on the gaming uh, gaming update. And if you're new to this channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and share, and turn on all notifications. Keep in mind if you don't get, and sometimes you don't get notified. If you if you wonder when I go live on my channel or upload videos on my channel, always check my channel out, make sure uh, of all that. And also, if you're and if you if you have subscribed to my channel and then all of a sudden you want to know if I'm if you're still subscribed to my channel, you might want to check my channel out, make sure you're still subscribed. Because I know some people have subscribed to my channel and then all of a sudden YouTube. Uh, fix, uh, uh, undoes it to where you're not subscribed to my channel then you have to resubscribe to my channel again so you might want to check it every now and then okay thanks so much for watching everyone y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see you this Friday morning at 9 o'clock a.m. with some Dying Light for the premiere stream of Dying Light 2 and I can't wait to jump Jab in on then. Take a seat and have a drink. We can watch life pass on by.